Great morning, holy brothers and sisters! Today was the eighth day of Pesach. It was counted the seventh day of the Omer and the 22nd of Nisan. We are in the Kitzur Lekutei Maharan, and today's lesson will be called Beautiful Bunches. And by Yomer Boaz Elrus, and Boaz said to Ruth, from Ruth 2, 8, there exists a supernal field in which all the souls grow, and these souls need the master of the field to engage in their rectification. A person who wishes to take pity on his soul so that it should not be left naked and wandering outside the field should beg and plead a great deal before God all of his life that he should merit to come close to this tzaddik who is the master of the field. This tzaddik looks at each person and brings him to the ultimate goal, which is entirely one and entirely good, as explained below in the following paragraphs. For it is impossible to arrive at the ultimate goal, which is good and eternal, except through this tzaddik, who is the master of the field. We always need to understand that we can get to certain goals by ourselves, but we need to rely on help from above for those who are smarter and wiser and holier than us to help us get to new, super, and higher levels. The main perfection of prayer is when a person reaches the ultimate goal to make his entire prayer into one. For when a person stands up to pray and begins to pronounce the first word of the prayer, for example, Baruch, which means blessed, as soon as the first letter of the word leaves his mouth, for example, the letter Bez of the word Baruch, this letter then begs and pleads with the soul not to part from it. This letter does not allow the soul to continue and to say more of the subsequent words of the prayer, but it hugs and embraces the soul and begs the soul not to part from it. Even more, when the person finishes saying a whole word, this word embraces and hugs the soul and does not allow it to continue saying the remaining words of the prayer. For when a person stands up to pray and he recites the words of the prayer, he gathers lovely blossoms and flowers and roses, just like a person who walks through a field collecting lovely roses and flowers one by one until he makes up a bunch. Subsequently, he gathers more flowers, one by one, and makes another bunch, whereupon he binds these two bunches together. So he continues gathering and collecting many, many beautiful and lovely bunches of flowers. In just this way, a person moves through his prayers, letter by letter, until a number of letters join together to form a word. Subsequently, he he moves on and joins together another few letters, thereby forming a second word. And afterwards, these two words are then attached to one another. Thus, he continues gathering until he completes one blessing. He then gathers more and more, moving from Avos, the first blessing in the Amida prayer, citing the patriarchs, to Givuros, which is the second blessing, praising God's might, and from Givurot to Kedusha, the third blessing, praising God's holiness. And so he proceeds further and further. Who can describe the exquisite beauty of the bunches and bundles that a person gathers and collects with the words of his prayers? And when the speech emanating from the soul leaves a person's mouth and it is heard by his ears, then each utterance pleads with the soul and does not allow it to proceed further, and it embraces and hugs the soul, so that the soul should not leave it. How can you part from me, it says? Do you not see my precious beauty, my radiance, my magnificence, and my splendor? I am the word Baruch. Please listen to what you are saying. Sound to your ears what you are saying with your mouth. How can you go on to gather more valuable treasures and great delights? How can you part from me and forget about me? At least see to it that wherever you go, you will not forget about me or ever separate from me. Therefore, the main perfection of prayer is when a person merits to take his entire prayer into a unity. And when he stands at the last word of his prayer, he is still at the first word, too, so that he never parts from the first word of the prayer, even at the prayer's conclusion. Then his prayer has reached perfection. But it is impossible to merit this except to the great true tzaddik, the righteous one, who is the master of the supernal field. He is able to bring each person to the true and ultimate goal, which is entirely good and entirely one. Through this, a person merits to make a unity of his entire prayer, which is the main perfection of prayer. So remember, every time we are reciting these words and every single letter, realize that we have such beautiful bounty, roses, and flowers that are coming together to create such an awesomeness and a splendor before us and before God and before the entire world. And remember, everything that we're saying is such meaning and such purpose. And make sure we say it out loud that our ears are able to hear everything that we're saying. And we should do this in everything through life. Make sure our words that are creative and have such awesome power are used with only goodness and holiness to uplift us and everybody around us and the whole world around us. Thank you so much for always learning together. If you enjoyed this lesson, please remember to like, comment, share, and borrow. And please, God, we'll learn again tomorrow.